Sri Sukadev Goswami said, In the Srimad Bhagavatam, there are ten divisions of statements regarding the following, the creation of the universe, sub-creation, planetary systems, protection by the Lord, mm -hmm. the creative impetus, the, the change of manus, the science of God, returning home, back to Godhead, liberation, and the Samam Bonam. Text 2. Dashamasya Vishudhyartham Navanam Ihalakshanam Varnayanti Mahatmanaha Shrutanartena Chanjasa To isolate the transcendence of the Samam Bonam, the symptoms of the rest are described sometimes by Vedic inference, sometimes by direct explanation, and sometimes by summary explanations given by the great sages. Text 3. Bhuta matendriya tiyam janna sarga udharitaha brahmano guna vaisham yad visarga purusha smitaha. The elementary creation of 16 items of matter, namely the five elements, fire, water, land, air and sky, sound, form, taste, smell, touch, and the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, skin, and mind is known as sarga, whereas subsequent resultant interaction of the modes of material nature is called visharga. Text 4. Siti Vaikunta Vijayaha Poshanam Tad Anugraha Manmantarani Satdharma Uteya Karmavasanaha the right situation for the living entities is to obey the laws of the Lord and thus be in perfect peace of mind under the protection of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Manus and their laws are meant to give right direction in life. The impetus for activity is the desire for fruited work. Text 5. Avatara nu charitam vartinam Pumsam Isha Kata Prokta Nana Kyano Prabhimitaha. The science of God describes the incarnations of the personality of Godhead and his different activities together with the activities of his great devotees. Text 6. Niroto Syanutshayanam Atmanam Sahashakti Bihi Muktir Hitvan Yatarupam Swarupena Viva. The merging of the living entity along with his conditional living tendency with the mystic lying down of the Mahavishnu is called the winding up of the cosmic manifestation. Liberation is a permanent situation of the form of the living entity after he gives up the changeable gross and subtle material bodies. Text 7. Abhasascha nirodascha yatostyat yava the Supreme One, who is celebrated as the Supreme Being or the Supreme Soul, is the Supreme Source of the Cosmic Manifestation as well as its reservoir and winding up. Thus, He is the Supreme Fountainhead, the Absolute Truth. Text 8. Yodhyatmiko Yam Purusha so sabe vadite vikaha yastatro bia vichite taha uru shoya tibotikaha. The individual person possessing different instruments of senses is called the adhyatmika, yadi adhyatmik person, and the individual controlling deity of the senses is called adhi devi. The embodiment seen on the eyeballs is called the adhi bhotik person. Text 9. Ekam ekatara bhave yada no palapa mahe rityayam tatrayo veda so atma svasraya shrayaha. 
All three of the above mentioned stages of different living entities are interdependent. In the absence of one, another is not understood. But the Supreme Being who sees every one of them as the shelter of the shelter is independent of all, and therefore he is the Supreme Shelter. Text 10. Purusho nitam minir pitya yada sa sa vinir kataha atmano yanam anvichan aposhak sich suchi suchihi. After separating the different universes, the gigantic universal form of the Lord, Mahavishnu, which came out of the causal ocean, the place of appearance for the first Purusha avatar, entered into the entered into each of the separate universes, desiring to lie on the created transcendental water, Garbodak. Text 11. Tasvavat sitsva srishtasu sahasram parivatsaran teina narayano nama yadhapa purushotpavaha. That Supreme Person is not impersonal and therefore is distinctively a nara or person. Therefore, the transcendental water created for the, from the Supreme Nara is known as Nara. And because he lies down on that water, he is known as Narayan. Text 12. Dravyam karma cha kalascha svabhavo jiva evacha yad anugrahata santi na santi yad upekshaya one should definitely know that all material ingredients, activities, time and modes and the living entities who are meant to enjoy them all exist by his mercy only. And as soon as he does not care for them, everything becomes non-existent. Text 13. Eko na natvam anvichan yoga dalpatsumititaha viryam hiran mayam devo the Lord, while lying on his bed of mystic slumber, generated the seminal symbol, golden in hue, through external energy out of his desire to manifest varieties of living entities from himself alone. Text 14. Adi Devam Atadhyatmam Adi Bhutamiti Prabhu Atekam Purusham Viryam just hear from me how the potency of his lordship divides one into three, called the controlling entities, the controlled entities, and the material bodies, in the matter in the manner mentioned above. Text fifteen. Antasharira akashat purushasya vijastataha ocha saho palam jagne. From the sky situated within the transcendental body, from the sky situated within the transcendental body of the manifesting Mahavishnu, sense, energy, mental force, and bodily strength are all generated, as well as the sum total of the fountainhead of the total living force. Text 16. Anu pranantiyam yam pranaha pranantam sarvajan tushu apanantam apananti nara devam ivanukaha. As the followers of a king follow their lord, similarly, when the total energy is in motion, all other living entities move, and when the total energy stops endeavoring, all other living entities stop sensual activities. Text 17. Prane nakshi patakshutrud antara jayati vipuhu vipasato jakshatascha pran mukam nirapityata. The living force being agitated by the Virat Purusha generated hunger and thirst, and when he desired to drink and eat, the mouth opened. Text 18. Mukatas talu nirpinnam jiva tatra pajayate tato na nara saujakne jiva yayo tikam yate. From the mouth, the palate became manifested, and thereupon the tongue was also generated. After this, all the different tastes came into existence so that the tongue can relish them. Text 19. 
When the Supreme desired to speak, speeches were vibrated from the mouth. Then the controlling deity fire was generated from the mouth. But when he was lying in the water, all these functions remained suspended. Text 20. Nasike nirapityetam todu yati napasvati tatrava yukanta paho krano nasi jikrishataha. Thereafter, when the Supreme Purusha desired to smell odors, the nostrils and respiration were generated. The nasal instrument and odors came into existence, and the controlling deity of air, carrying smell, also became manifested. Text 21. Yadatmani niraklokam atmanam chadikshataha nirpinne yakshini tasya jyotis chakshukuna krahaha. Thus, when everything existed in darkness, the Lord desired to see himself and all that was created. Then the eyes, the illuminating God's son, the power of vision and the object of sight all became manifested. Um, that's that's it. It. Thank you, Jashi Mataji and Pramod Prabhuji for the very nice recitation. Mamta Mataji, you are there? Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna everyone. Please Hare accept Krishna. my humble obeisances. All good to Shira Prabhupada. Um, I'm sorry I missed the recitation, but I'm sure they'll be quite well recited. Please forgive me. Um, let me just try to... Okay, Hare Krishna, Mataji. Are we okay to start or something? Yes, Mataji, please. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Jai Shri Krishna Om Agnana Timirandhasya Agnanan Jana Shalakaya Chakshuran Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Pishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutali Swayam Rupa Kadamahiyam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yutta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Ragunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakhan Vitamscha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpati Gopisha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostuti Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrinda Vaneshwari Vrishabhano Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpata Rupyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyaye Vacha Patita Nam Pavane Pyo 
वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमो जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवास आदि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे हरे श्रीमद भागवतम की जय हरे कृष्णा so today i think we are going to start chapter 10 um and uh, chapter 10 verses 1 to 3 so let me just get this up on my is somebody as able to just read for me is it okay please uh, the first the one and two can you read together maybe all the three we should read together and then we can talk is that okay because there hardly any um yes hari krishna i can try yes mata ji please read if you need text 1 shri sukha vacha asya sarga visarga shva sthanam pasana posanam utayaha manvantara sanu katha nirodo muktira shreha oh sorry Hmm. You might have to just go back. Yes, yes that's right. Sri Sukha Goswami said, "In the Shrimad Bhagavatam, there are ten divisions of statements regarding the following: the creation of the universe, sub-creation, planetary systems, protection by the Lord, the creative impetus and change of manas, the signs of God returning home back to Godhead, liberation, and the sanambhanam." Text two. The samasya visudhi artham navanam iha lakshanam vanyan varna yanti mahatmana shrute narthe na cha chanjusha. The to isolate the transcendence of the sanabhanam, the symptoms of the rest are described sometimes by Vedic. inference sometimes by direct explanation and sometimes by summary explanations given by the great sages and text 3 bhutamatrendriya dhiyan dhiyam janma sarga udahrata brahmano gna vaisamyat visarga purusha samhrata elementary creation of 16 items of matter namely the five elements fire water land air and sky sound form taste smell touch and the eyes is nose tongue skin and mind this is known as sarga whereas subsequent resultant interaction of the modes of material nature is called visarga in order to in order to explain the 10 divisional symptoms of the shrimad bhagavatam there are seven continuous verses the first of this under reference pertains to the 16 elementary manifestations of earth water etc with material ego composed of material intelligence and mind the subsequent creation is a result of the reactions of the above mentioned 16 energies of the first purusha the mahavishnu incarnation of govinda as later explained by brahma in this tritais brahma samhita as follows yakarna yakarna nava jaleba chatisma yuga nidramananta jagadand saroma kupa adhara saptim avalambya param swamurtim Govindam Adi Purusham Tamaham Bajami, the first Purusha incarnation of Govinda Lord Krishna, known as the Mahavishnu, goes into a yoga nidra, mystic sleep, and the innumerable universes are situated in potency in each and every hairhole of his 
transcendental body as mentioned in the previous in the previous verse srutena or with reference to the vedic conclusions the creation is made possible from the supreme personality of godhead directly by manifestation of his particular energies without such a vedic reference the creation appears to be a product of material nature this conclusion comes from a poor fund of knowledge from vedic reference it is concluded that the origin of all energies namely internal external and marginal is the supreme personality of godhead and as explained herein before the illusionary conclusion is that creation is made by the inert material nature the vedic conclusion is transcendental light whereas the non vedic conclusion is material darkness the internal potency of the supreme lord is identical with the supreme lord and the external potency is enlivened in contact with the internal potency the parts and parcels of the internal potency which react in contact with the external potency are called the marginal potency or the living entities this the original creation is directly from the supreme personality of godhead or para brahman and the secondary creation is a reactionary result of the original ingredients is made by brahma this the activities of the whole universe are started hari krishna hari krishna thank you so much mata thank you very much so these uh, first three verses you know what of your um, sri prabhupad is trying to explain is that first of all how the bhagavatam sukadeva gosam is trying to tell maharaj pariksha as the bhagavatam the whole of the bhagavatam is divided into so many parts like okay and in that in this divisions we have um, um how the universe was created and then how from the creation again the sub creation and then all the planetary systems which we have the 14 planet planetary system in one universe like that the multiple and millions and millions of universes and then once the planetary systems are formed how the lord takes charge of it and um and then the different for how brahma starts creating and then how that is managed so all in different different you know, characters we see all this so protection by the lord the creative impetus the change of manus the science of god returning home back to godhead liberation and the samam bonam so the samam see all these are uh, except the samam bonam so all these people try to say um the uh, the depends depending upon uh, the vedic inference so if there is um, about the samam bonam is the personal life of krishna so um people can't just start explaining about it where other uh, where is the the creation of the universe people always try to put the illusory thoughts into it and they try to say oh you was created like this way or you was created like that way uh, but by vedic inference or by sometimes by directly they can tell that the universe is created by so and so atom breaks into so and so all those things they can bring in but they cannot do the same thing for the samam bonam but over here what to say is the so from here now we have to understand the sarga and visarga so the sarga is that part where um, all the elements of the earth are formed let me just tell you about so all the 16 elements are, are called the sarga and the beyond that so all the 16 elements what are the 16 elements you have so you have the first five elements which are the fire water earth air and ether now how these are formed is something we need to look into and then we have from them comes the secondary elements which are the sound form taste smell and touch and then the sense organs we have the ears eyes tongue nose skin and mind these are six elements so all together so the five elements we have is the fire water earth air and ether and from them comes the secondary elements we have are sound form taste smell touch and then the sense organs the six sense organs of you have got ears eyes tongue nose skin and the mind so these are the primary creations over there from the from these primary creations and the interactions of that comes the visarga visarga or the secondary creations which where brahma gets involved in 
हेलो हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अभियोर इन दिस कृष्णा श्री श्री ट्राइज टू एक्सप्लेन दैट हाउ द फर्स्ट पुरुषा इज द इनकारनेशन ऑफ द लॉर्ड विच इज द महाविष्णु so over here um the karna daksha vishnu before before when the when the when the universe starts forming the karna daksha vishnu is the main form and from the karna daksha vishnu's every pore comes a universe and from that universes then you have uh, mahavishnu will glance at the universes and then he enters into that universe and you form the garbhodaksha vishnu and from the garbhodaksha vishnu then comes obviously um, maha the brahma ji comes from the navel and then the maha the shirodaksha vishnu goes into each and every uh, uh, living entity so this maha vishnu which is called how does um, so how does how does this maha vishnu create the whole universe is something we need to look into so first of all uh, what happens is let me just go in here this more before i before i actually um, so okay so first of all what happens is um when uh, when mahavishnu he glances at uh, the material nature the material elements uh, pradhana then um, most of uh, so so all the material energies are all the external energies okay and uh, from the external energies comes this universe and all that is formed and um, the internal energies are different of krishna so if i can go back maybe i should say how um, if i it can be in a bit of a better flow is that let me just go back to say as how in the beginning how she uh, sukha go sukadeva goswami and uh, parishit maharaj the conversation um, the whole of bhagavatam for us is that what is the essence of shrimad bhagavatam what, what is the end point what is the gist of learning knowing bhagavatam and what does it tell us you know so these are the questions which uh, parishit maharaj ask us uh, sukadeva goswami and sukadeva goes to me what does he ask and what does he get you know so first of all prashant maharaj tries to uh, main question just of it is how how to live in this world and how to leave from this world you know how can we do that and that and the answer to all the question is by doing bhakti yoga that's the whole thing of whole of the shrimad bhagavatam so krishna is trying to by through this bhagavatam making us understand what bhakti yoga is and by actually clinging on to bhakti yoga you can live your life and when you leave also bhakti yoga will help you leave this world in a better way and going back to god that's the main thing of the whole um, gist of all this shrimad bhagavatam so over here what happens is uh, narada muni is asking questions you know to um, brahma ji so he is asking like he'll be asking about six questions he'll be asking so um what are the questions he ask you know what is the character how is this universe first of all formed you know what is the character of this universe how is this universe formed and uh, uh, what is the shelter of this universe and how is this universe created and how is it destroyed and what is the uh, universe dependent on and what is the universe composed of and first of all why are you meditating on anybody because you i thought you are the topmost god then brahma ji will take will say that um, he is very sincere and honest and he will say i the main creator is the lord so mahavishnu maha the lord supreme personality of godhead lord uh, krishna he is the main creator and i am only recreating what he's created so all of us should understand that so in this uh, so brahma ji tries to explain this in the chatur shloki um, bhagavatam so chatur shloki bhagavatam there are seven verses right from the first two verses are just the prelude and the second the four verses are the main verse and then the last one is the conclusion 
So in the seven verses, basically the whole of uh, Srimad Bhagavatam is told. So in that, uh, what um, uh, Lord Brahma says that he only recreates. So what is this? Uh, how is this universe formed? And he says like, I, uh, I, I only recreate what has already been done by the Lord. So the Lord has already got all the ingredients and I just mix and match. It's like going to a market and buying different, different vegetables and other ingredients and making a curry. So all the ingredients are there and Brahmaji is just making the curry or making the product, you know, that is what he's doing. So, but the, you have to, all of us should understand that all the ingredients are already there. So that is made by the Lord himself. And there are it has been explained how these small small products are in how they started and uh, so if you go actually quick quickly if you go into um, the four um, chatur sloki verse tell you what my part of it so it'll be easier for me so in the chatur sloki verse is obviously a, uh, what what does the god say he says in the beginning i existed by creation and uh, during, and I will be there during maintenance and I will continue even after destruction. So that is the actual truth. That is the real truth. And then what's the second sloka? What does it say? It says like, whatever you see that is not in connected with me, that is not in connection with me, is my external energy. Basically, it is due to Maya. Okay. And then the third thing, what they try to say is, I exist everywhere. And my pure devotees will be able to see me everywhere. Okay, and the fourth one is he says like till you reach the point of seeing me everywhere, directly or indirectly, that is that is when you should start inquiring. And how do you inquire? By seeking a spiritual master, and then following bhakti. These are the four simple steps they try to say. So in the first and the second verses of uh, of uh, second one, it is the prayojana, and the last one is abhideya. So over here, so when I, let, let me go back again. So in this, then what happens, how the universe is created. So how do we get this? So universe is formed through this material ingredient. So what are the material ingredients? They are the, um, so you have the, the dravya or the kala, karma, swabhava and jiva. So these are the ingredients which you, which are required to form this sort of universe now. So, from when the Maha, when the Pano Dakshaya Vishnu from him comes out the, um, the small universes which come out from each pore, then Narayana basically glances, glances at this material energy. And he impregnates, who does he impregnate? These jivas. And what do the jivas have? The jivas have their own previous karma and the, and the swabhava means the demeanor. So these are injected into the material earth. And when they are material earth, when they are injected, all of them are in the inactive form. So he just only put in the substance. But they do not get activated. They only become active when the time comes into play. So when time comes into play, then that becomes the Mahatattva. So that material energy becomes the Mahatattva. And in this Mahatattva, then what happens? All the modes become active. So all the gunas become active. When So in the Mahatattva, what happens? The main guna is the Sattva guna. And Sattva guna is the most active guna in that. From that comes again the uh, Sutra Tattva. Which is in which the Rajoguna is become becomes prominent. And from that comes the Ahankara. From Ahankara, what happens over here? So the Tamoguna is the mo most prominent one. And from Ahankara comes these three modes of nature. But they are the what? Again, Sattva, uh, Rajas, and uh, Tamaskuna. So from so basically this material universe is mostly of this ahankara, goodness, passion, and ignorance. So you can understand the goodness is very, very, it is always influenced by tamas kuna. So it is never pure. So pure sattva is spiritual. So we'll, uh, whatever we have goodness in this earth is always adulterated. It's always with ignorance. 
so we should always understand that it is always contaminated whatever goodness we have so from this ahankara and goodness you know the mind is developed and all the devatas are developed from there and from the ahankara from this ahankara in passion we have all the senses the pranas and the intelligence comes in and then from the ahankara of ignorance comes your um touch taste and all those perceptions so these are all the 23 elements they come out from from all these um interactions basically so over here like i mean from here then what happens is you have to understand then what happens to the seed from the mahatattva it is like how the so the main seed is created by the lord but brahma ji is the farmer basically so the seed once you put the once the seed is created you put in the soil and then you put water and then you do everything then the plant grows but the seed is there and from there another seed comes and then multiple things come but you have to understand the original seed was only created by the lord so nobody has created that it is only the lord so you have to understand how this uh, species has been created so what brahma does is then in the second creation then it is like in your curry like how you see oh for this curry i have to put this many potatoes or this many brinjal or this many tomatoes and this many um, whatever chilies and ginger or whatever it is like that way brahma ji will introduce these species in different different proportions so that is how this whole thing becomes alive and from um now um uh, what happens is then this universal form of um, uh, from from this because of the time factor then it becomes um um active and after it becomes active and all these uh, um, all these um, elements are formed so if i go back to the element formation um from the main uh, guna let me see this is a bit a little bit the sogna jam today please forgive me yeah so all the yeah so first of all among them the first element to be formed is the sky So the sky is the first element to be formed, and uh, from here, uh, from the sky comes the sound comes over there, and then it in the the sky will interact with the second thing is the air. So the air interacts with the uh, with the sky, and then it and with time. So everywhere, wherever anything happens, the time has to interact. So that will form uh, fire, and from fire comes the touch and sound. and then when the fire again interacts with time and all the above elements then you have water and the water from there comes the earth and from earth then you have the uh, the sense organs so from air when we look at it um uh, from the air you have the time and the from the fire you have the touch and the sound element and from the fire Uh, when it becomes water then you have the taste element coming in that with form touch and sound and from the water you have the earth element from there comes the smell then your uh, touch sound and the taste but your mind is generated from the goodness and it manifests um so the so the mind and the 10 demigods you know they come from the thing of uh, goodness and from the mode of passion comes the sense organs so you need these demigods to control all the elements over there so that is again part and parcel of uh, krishna over there so they are uh, so so all the demigods have the 10 demigods which controlling controls all the movements and they are uh, basically the air the sun god then uh, you have uh, the ashwini kumaras the fire god indra brahma ji and lots of other demigods over there and from the passion comes your mode of passion you have your sense organs like your ear skin nose eyes tongue mouth all the sense organs you know which you perceive all the senses your intelligence also comes from the mode of passion and all the living entities so this body the when these elements are mixed interact into each other then the body comes so the body cannot take form until the above elements are formed so when they interact then the form comes in
So, so basically, when I can, if I can go back, it's a slightly a bit dry chapter. This is. Okay. Yeah, so going back again, so over here, um, so Narada asks, so what is the character of this universe? So you know what it's made of all these um, elements of which we have uh, the uh, so so the, so the elements are again we said about um, dravya kala karma again the same thing we have again the time and then we have the marja energy we have the um, external energy internal energy when it mixes with the external energy we have the marginal energy which is the jiva so From the from, so so the so the purusha avataras come from the mahatattva. From there it comes the purusha avataras. So the purusha avataras is the universal form which we have, where um, so from the from the karno daksha vishnu. So, from them comes the secondary creation, but uh, the universal form comes into play of the Virata Purusha, in which every part and parcel of the limbs of the every part of the body is uh, um, uh, has a has a meaning. And um, you have all the 14 planetary systems over there where your um, the lower planetary systems are are, are represented from uh, in both the legs where you have all the seven uh, lower planetary systems called, uh, uh, you have, uh, what are they called? Seven things. Um, Atala, Vitala, Sitala, Talatala, Mahatala, Rasatala, and Patala. And then we have the Huloka. Um, and then we have again the top planets to the chest that is uh, Tapa and Janaloka. And then we have uh, Swaraloka. And then we have uh, Brahmaloka. And then Vaikuntaloka above that. So, um, what over here um, they. Um, So in this, in the last, uh, in the last uh, paragraph, what Sri Prabhupada is trying to say is that normally, a little bit. Uh, So obviously what Prabhupada is trying to say is that um, all the all, all the creation is made by the Supreme Personality of Godhead and uh, without with the Vedic um, references, you know, then the creation appears to be a product of material nature. So he says that people who do not have much knowledge, they will put in their own uh, theories and then that is more illusory. But if you go with with the Vedic uh, inference with whatever written in the Vedas, then that will be the truth or the um, that is more transcendental and th that is how it should be um, understood as and not as uh, an illusory energy because then it will be very shallow. Um, and uh, I think 
So um, but at the end of the day, then uh, what happens is that uh, we heard Sukadeva Goswami, how he tries to explain this to um, Parishit Maharaj about the creation is that um, by knowing the creation of um, of the personality of supreme personality of Godhead, we will we know that how um, how powerful the God is, and uh, and the only way to achieve Him is by doing bhakti yoga. And he also um, also mentions about uh, other types of yoga also, where some people, I mean, where you have the eight elements of uh, Ashtanga yoga, which comes as Yama, Niyama, Asana, prana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyana, and Samadhi, where um, the do's and don'ts of things in life. And then we have to do all the exercises and breathing exercises and mind control. When people have more um, when they can't really control the mind and they have more desires then they they tell us to um, meditate on the virata rupa or the big form of the lord and then that will be more easier for you to um, attain salvation I'm really sorry today. I'm not really able to uh, get a better effect, but I think maybe um, I just wanted to. Uh, I thought to bring it in a different way, but I don't seem to be getting the real flow today. I'm sorry for that. So, but the Vishwarupa and the the Rupa of uh, the 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 Virat Rupa and Vishwarupa are two different things. So, the Virat Rupa may you'll have all these. Um, um, you have these uh, where the form of Vishnu is in the thousand arms, thousand legs, thousand uh, faces, and uh, all they are all in different multi-dimensional forms where you can see how um, all the whole world and everything is situated. Whereas in the Vishwarupa, which you see in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, where it is a visual, and there you can see how um, how Arjuna sees all the. Um, he sees he sees the element of time also in that you know he sees everything being how Duryodhana everybody being devoured by the by the law and it go how they are being killed over there so the time element is seen over there so this is maybe maybe a different form of uh, the universal form which we see is quite different from than the Virat Rupa Virat Rupa of uh, uh, of Mahavishnu is much more in depth. And which we can't conceive. Basically, it is too too uh, inconceivable for conditioned people, uh, conditioned eyes. Basically, so from this um, base, uh, from these three verses, what it means over here is the, uh, um, it, so the the sarga part is the main thing. Is the main raw elements of the universe. This is what Sri um, Prabhupada is trying. Sukadeva Goswami is trying to explain what are the raw elements of the universe. And uh, so over here that, um, I mean, I've heard that the jiva comes with their own karma and their own swabhava. And the, the swabhava comes with whatever karma you bring in uh, with, uh, with you. And first of all, the question can come as to how does the previous karma come into? That's a, that's, I cannot answer that. But then when, when Lord actually... Uh, when they impregnate the pradhana with the jivas with the entities, so already they have impregnated with the uh, karma and the swabhava of the entities into it. Um, but it only becomes active when the time comes into play. I'm really sorry, uh, devotees. <laughs> it was a bit complex today, so. Please fill in and uh, please uh, please correct me, uh, Shailas Prabhu. If you're around, I must have made so many mistakes. Um, anybody who can correct me, please correct me. So we have to understand that uh, Vishnu is never contaminated with any material energy. 
when Vishnu's internal energy plus the material energy comes into play, um, it is uh, then they say it is Shiva's energy. So he carries out the universe. That is one form of thought over there. So the external energy is all this, what we have uh, seen, this Purusha Avataras. And what are the internal energies will be? All the Leela Avataras and Guna Avataras are all the internal energy of the Lord. So now the 10, the ten types of uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, the topics of Srimad Bhagavatam, which we say, that is in English we read that time. But in uh, Sanskrit, it is Sarga is the creation of the Lord. Visarga is a subsequent creation by you know, Brahma and Manus. Uh, Sthana is the geography of the universe. Poshana is Lord's protection to devotees. Uti is inauspicious and auspicious inclination. Manvantara is the dynasties of Manus and Lord activities. Ishanu Katha is topics related to Lord's devotees. Nirodha is universal um, annihilation and then we have Mukti is liberation and Ashraya is Krishna's pastimes. So those are the 10 topics of uh, Srimad Bhagavatam. Anybody wants to fill in the gaps, please? So our role in our life is basically to hear Krishna's activities chant Krishna's glories and remember Krishna always. And the best way of living life is to center, to, to be connected to Krishna consciousness and to live a Krishna conscious, consciousness life. And we can do that by Shravanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam. The first thing is concentrate mostly on Shravanam, Kirtanam and Smaranam will come automatically. Yes, please. Somebody was trying to say something. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you for the wonderful class, Mataji. I'm so sorry it wasn't so... No. <laughs> Today it wasn't coming with the flow, but it was all a bit here and there. But still, um, I hope I haven't confused you all. We got some yeah. from you. Uh, if there are no any questions or comments, shall we proceed to the bhajan, please? Yes, please, please. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Uh, Hare Krishna. Oh, glory to Srila Prabhupada. Okay. Nice to explain, Mataji. Thank you. So, Mataji, for today's bhajan, we have dear Inakshi and Pavni singing the Yugala Ashtakam. But before they sing, we have jo dear Jyoti Mataji doing the English recitation. Whenever you're ready, Jyoti Mataji, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Radha is made of pure love for Krishna and Hari is made of pure love of Radha. Life's greatest wealth is Radha and Krishna, my eternal shelter. Radha is the treasure of Krishna and Hari is the treasure of Radha. Life's greatest wealth is Radha and Krishna, my eternal shelter. Radha pervades the life force of Krishna and Hari pervades the life force of Radha. Life's greatest wealth is Radha and Krishna, my eternal shelter. Radha is totally melted with Krishna and Hari is totally melted with Radha. Life's greatest wealth is Radha and Krishna, my eternal shelter. 
Radha is situated in the body of Krishna and Hari is situated in the body, body of Radha. Life's greatest wealth is Radha and Krishna, my eternal shelter. Radha is fixed in the heart of Krishna and Hari is fixed in the heart of Radha. Life's greatest wealth is Radha and Krishna, my eternal shelter. Radha wears cloth of blue, blue color and Hari wears cloth of yellow color. Life's greatest wealth is Radha and Krishna, my eternal shelter. Radha is the mistress of Vrindavan and Krishna is the master of Vrindavan. Life's greatest wealth is Radha and Krishna, my eternal shelter. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji. Nakshin Pavani, when you're ready. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna, Prema Mai Radha. Radha, Prema Mai Hari. Krishna, Prema Mai Radha. Radha, Prema Mai Hari. Radha Krishna Gati Mamma Radha Krishna Gati Mamma Krishna Radha Radha Krishna Krishna Radha Krishna Radha Radha, Jitta, Sita, Hari. 
जीवन में राजा कृष्ण गति जीवन राधा कृष्ण गति मेरा बरा दरा चित्रा बरा दर मेरा बरा दर राधा बरा दर राधा कृष्ण गति राधा कृष्ण गति वृंदावनेश्वरी राधा कृष्ण वृंदावनेश्वरा वृंदावनेश्वरी राधा कृष्ण वृंदावनेश्वरा राधा कृष्ण गति मीवन राधा समथिंग If we don't have to say anything, should we then end the class, Mata Ji? Yes, Mata Ji. Hare Krishna. Should we say the prayer, Mata Ji? Hare Krishna. So, yeah. so we can hear you, Jyoti Mata Ji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, we can just say the prayer now. One chakal. Kripa Sindhu Bheva Cha Patita Nam Pavane Bhyo Vaishra Bhyo Namo Namaha Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice class. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mata Ji.